My name is Laju Montgomery Tabron. I'm the president and CEO of the W.K. Kellogg Foundation. I'm Verge Bernero, mayor of Lansing, Michigan. I believe that there's nothing like immediate feedback, and a tool like that provides that immediate feedback as well as uh, a great way to determine who's in the room and the perspectives in the room. Now everybody in that room, all 500 people, click, 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 and they're all waiting to see what the result is. So in a way, it, it focused the attention of the room and then the speaker could pick up and take it from there. Our work is all about inclusivity and all about really hearing from people and allowing people to, to give voice. And I think that tool equalizes voice in a room. And that was so important for this particular session on truth, racial healing, and transformation. Again, it raised the level of excitement. It, 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 uh, you knew that you were, you were going to be counted. It gave you, I really believe it gave you another reason to go to the session. The nice thing about it, I think, too, was you could be anonymous or mm -hmm. not. I think it was a very positive, uh, being the music, and which gives it a little bit of context and, and energy, and I think people really are put into a safe space in order to feel that they can uh, give you the honest feedback that I think we need to do this work well. We were discussing some weighty issues about race relations and so on. It lightened up the atmosphere. Um, David helped to do that with, uh, with his ca more relaxed, casual style, so it added some levity. Um, it, so it added levity, excitement. Um, you know, it lightened what was a very kind of heavy conversation um, and still a serious topic, but why not have some fun while you're discussing, while you're solving the problems of the world? So it was a very effective way of, of including 570 people into a conversation and, and, and being able to, to pick their voices up on a screen. So I think it was perfect. People have other things to do. They're looking at their computer. It was funny when people took out their clickers, which most people had around their necks. Um, when it came time to vote, they sort of knew, okay, this is where I've got to be engaged. And you could just see the level of engagement um, and kept the, kept the meeting alive, you know, it livened it up a little bit. I think any place where someone is really um, uh, very focused on showing people one safe space and also two, uh, ha allowing them to give voice and saying that their voice matters and, and that's what that tool does because it validates every voice in the room. He sort of came in, you know, through the side door and then, you know, got, raised your excitement, got you to like them, and uh, it was just, it made it, it made it, uh, there was an engaging, uh, he's an engaging personality, and I think it warmed the, I think it warmed the room up, warmed the meeting up, and again, became a constant through the conference that gave people a reason to come back. Someone doing this work has to have, I think, a little bit of connection, and, uh, and that's what happens when he's on stage. He makes a connection with the audience, and as I said, it then gets you to lean into it, and, uh, and it's a little bit of fun, and I just think he has a, a great way of, uh, of showing up and allowing us all to connect with him. So it was fascinating. Uh, it really added an element um, that, uh, of excitement um, and kind of wow. Uh, it was exactly what we needed to have in this space.